Good morning, good afternoon, guys. Good evening. Carlos here with Toronto's Mobile Detail in Dallas, Texas. Happy Monday, guys. I hope you guys had a blessed weekend overall. Uh, we have some showers coming in through this week, so I don't even know if I'm going to be working this whole week. But anyways, we got to smile through, the, through, through all the struggles, right? Through all the weather. So uh, I'm excited. We are in Sanger, Texas today. We're working on, on this BMW. Uh, and though, uh, obviously, from far, the paint looks great. There is a lot of work that this paint needs. Um, so uh, these are a good friends of mine, a good customers of mine for a good couple of years already. Um, and, you know, I'm just blessed to have the opportunity uh, to work on their vehicle. So today we're going to be doing a one step paint correction on this paint. Uh, once I wash it and everything, I'll bring it in, put the light on it so you guys can see a little bit of how this paint looks. Uh, and then we're going to be doing um, uh, they had they had paid for a three year. I'm gonna give them a six year ceramic coating just because the six year is more aggressive. It's gonna add, uh, it's part of the 9H family. So it's gonna add a little bit of microns to the paint. Uh, so it is gonna help this paint in the long run. So that's why I went with that one instead of the three year. Uh, so I'm excited. Uh, I really can't wait to see this thing glow. Uh, so let's get started. Alrighty guys, so the first process obviously is gonna be rinsing off as you guys can see it. Um, it is a very windy day, so I apologize. The microphone was kind of a little bit crazy today. Uh, and at this moment, I'm spraying the Adams iron removal out of the Marilex 2000. And man, it was windy. And at this point right here, it was literally blowing into my face. Uh, but pretty much spray it off, let it dwell. And then we're going to come back and rinse it off thoroughly. And then it was going to be followed up, obviously, by the uh, strip wash. So... Let's go. Today, so, uh, question I get asked a lot also is, Carlos, do you use customers' water or electricity? Not always, um, but I've known these customers for a long time, you know, so they understand. But there's times I got to use their stuff. Uh, for this occasion, uh, I really wanted to just, I uh, didn't want to make a lot of noise, so I didn't want to turn on my generator. It's not that it's loud, it's just, you know, if I have the convenience of using their stuff, I'll use their electricity. Uh, so I'll show you guys my setup today. So I plugged into their garage and I plugged it into a double outlet. All right, and here is, I'll show you guys. Here's my double outlet on one side. I have my submersible pump. On the other side, I have my Ryobi 1900 pressure washer. And obviously guys, my submersible pump right in here working. So that is a little bit of how I set it up today. Very easy, very convenient, and it's quiet. This setup is more quieter than the uh, Predator 3500. <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get back to work. And uh, uh, I already, uh, I already did the the uh, decon. I've done the strip wash. I've done the clay. After I do the clay. I'll rinse the car off one more time and then I'll come back with one last foam and I'll let that foam just kind of sit on there and obviously as it's coming down it's bringing everything off now it's pretty flat that's what you want to do whenever you do um, I mean any type of of work when you're doing any wax or sealants you want to strip everything down you want that paint flat you don't want no beading nothing like that you want it just to be flat so after that I will rinse it off I'll dry it and I'm gonna pull it in and uh, we'll get started uh, hopefully now that the Sun is out we can show you the, the paint oh yeah this paint is black guys I got some air in the tank and my pressure washer there we go we're back And while I have you guys, this is week three of that Armor All uh, window cleaner. Hopefully the camera can catch it, but here we go. Still there. Not bad. Alrighty guys, so we are now done with the clay, the strip wash, the iron, and we are now ready 
too correct the paint is smooth it had some uh look like road tar way at the bottom but let me see if this camera can catch a little bit of how this paint looks if you guys can see it look at that guys so we can get more but overall this whole paint there is everything so uh, they bought this car a while back and obviously you guys can see it has been through the ringer on car washes so we're gonna try to we're gonna eliminate a lot of this um, the paint overall uh, it's uh, reading in the in the fives so we are we are looking really nice for correcting and as well as leaving some uh, left some protection on there so that's what we're going to be talking about today is why do i only do one steps most of the time so that's what we're going to be talking about i'm a little bit I'm, I'm excited to talk about it and hopefully to some it makes sense to some it may not um, but at the end of the day it's just a little bit of my personal input um, so let's Alrighty guys, so we are, we're almost to the finish line and um, I know that in the video I had told you uh, we were going to do a, a one step uh, paint correction, um, but uh, I'd be sitting here lying to you guys and make you guys think that this was a one step. Uh, so in reality, uh, the objective was a, a one step paint correction. Uh, Unfortunately, these scratches were just so deep into the clear uh, that my one step, it, it was looking good. I'm not going to sit here and say it wasn't looking good, but I was just not, uh, I wasn't really happy with how it was coming out. Um, so what I ended up doing, guys, I ended up uh, converting over to a two-step. And for that, we used, um, uh, this is a uh, Rupes, no, this is a Lake Country uh, wool pad, a Lake Country wool pad on the um, max shine pro rotary polisher this is the 1000 i think yep the m1000 and what i did guys i used uh, uh coach kemi uh, h9 uh, literally guys i am a diehard fan of this product this is the only thing i really carry on my uh on my arsenal coach kemi um if you open my box any day you're gonna see coach kemi there is not no other product that i use just because i really have uh fall, fell in love with the way it works i may say it does a lot of dusting for me i mean that really doesn't bother me uh but anyways i did a coach kemi with the lake country wool pad and what i usually do is i will just apply to the door and then i'll come back on speed one and start blending it in and then i'll finish it off at a at a speed uh two and a half because uh, you can go in half increments also so it was a two and a half a nice speed and just you know blend it in there real nicely go all the way around and leads me to the uh, second step now so step two um which is the i'm using a adams a swirl killer and uh these pads are all the ones uh, whoa let me put this down Pad choice, pad choicing. If you're new uh, to to uh, corrections and stuff like that, you're gonna want to buy uh, a little bit pads of everything because not you know I'm usually a Rupes guy, so you'll see me most of the time use the this Rupes medium with uh, F601 from Coach Kemi, uh, all right, or M302 with the Rupes, but sometimes not all the pads work with the paint and. Uh, I started off with the uh, Coach Kemi. Uh, this is their medium cut. This is their orange pad. This is uh, mostly combined with their P601, their all-in-one. Uh, this pad is for it. I was trying it out with this one. I was like, let me see. It feels really aggressive, so I wanted to see if it was cutting. Uh, it was doing j the job, uh, but I, I was just not satisfied with how it was spinning. So after this one, I uh, took that one off. I went to the Lake Country HDO pad. This is their heavy cut foam pad and I was using it but it, it, it just wasn't giving me that you know I, I just was not satisfied with the way the uh, the rotation was going on the pad so took that one off next up I went over to the I think these are called the Oberk uh, I recently purchased like six of these on on Amazon 
uh, I think it was Amazon or you know what no I, I'm lying I bought this off of uh, Chicago Auto Pro's website I think it was off of their off of their ware warehouse and I actually liked it I really did uh, but for today after I started using it uh, same thing I was just not satisfied with how the rotation was giving me all right and then I went over to the medium uh, yellow rupees with this one, I started seeing the rotation a little bit better with the machine, with the paint, everything was working perfectly. Um, so uh, I used this one and then I was like, man, what the heck? Let's go to the, uh, and I'm using right now, this is what I'm using. This is the Lake Country. I believe this is their SDO pad. Uh, very soft and uh, very aggressive for this kind of a paint um, as far as you know, getting the job done and i am loving the results with this one just because even at speed five this pad is spinning beautifully it's cutting nicely now uh so right now i'm coming back with the uh, i'm using this uh, lake country with uh p601 for the second step that'll finesse the paint uh, and that's going to give me the results i want prior to uh coating it so i'm super excited this is the finishing combo for me lake country sdo with f601 from coach kemi um and it, it's leaving it I'm, I'm happy now at first i was just kind of a little bit i was like i can't it's just not going right plus uh the clear i had a uh, i was marking six uh six point two mils i believe uh and five so I, there's enough clear to where i could go into here a little bit more and kind of cut uh, and finesse the paint a little bit better uh, that way you get the results that we really want to get so uh, right now i'm gonna finish off with these two all the way around for my two-step and then we're gonna do our ipa coat it and it should be ready guys so i'll definitely bring you guys uh for the final uh reveal how it looked um and it should turn out really well <laughs> i'm more excited now uh you know sometimes as a as a detailer or as a paint correction specialist you really just you know sometimes do i want to tell the customer hey you know what it's going to be more because I, I bumped you up to a two-step no it, the, the timing you know it's, it's not even uh, i keep my integrity i told him a one step but in reality it needs a two step you know not my fault when i looked at it i knew what i was working with but i really wanted to get it done with a one step but um things change and you know I, I would be lying here and showing you guys here thinking that i did a one step uh when in reality i did a two step on the paint so uh, i really don't want to be lying to you guys so i wanted to make this video and kind of let you guys know what I ended up doing um, just because uh, the results will speak for themselves but I don't want you to be thinking that this was a one step uh, when in reality I ended up converting it into a two step so uh, uh, let's keep going I uh, feels good the breeze is finally coming in because it was hot uh, temperature wise we're like in the 70 I think we're at 78 so we're perfectly humidity is real low today so this coating is going to go on there beautifully so uh, stay tuned we'll be back Alrighty guys, so this BMW is finally done. I am I'm happy. I am very happy. I am very uh satisfied with the end results. Uh the one step was doing great, but it was just not uh there was just something in me that i just ended up doing a two-step so uh this ended up uh, in reality converting into a two-step paint correction uh first that was a lake country wolves pad the i think it's the purple one or blue one with uh, coach kemi h9 uh followed by uh coach kemi uh f6 the yellow one uh that's the micro cut with a uh, lake country uh, orange medium cut pad the SDO it's a, the softer one and it gave me the result uh, that I was after I am I'm very happy with the end results on this one uh, obviously we used uh, drive auto appearance has been literally my go-to tire dressing now I do carry aqua gloss but sometimes for these kinds of for the higher end model vehicles or pretty much not I'm sorry I don't want to say the higher end models but pretty much any car at this point is getting drive auto appearance uh, just because it leaves it really nice and the sling it's very minimal to be honest uh, I uh, I've been following up with customers that have applied it and the sling is very minimal uh, minimal to no sling at all uh, but either way let me give you guys a quick walk around we ended up putting t6 plus uh, by uh, DPC their uh, six year 
uh, but the T6 Plus is more aggressive against the elements. It adds, obviously, extra microns to the paint, makes it very slick, very glossy. Um, it's a really well thought of coating all around. Uh, so let me give you guys a quick walk around so you guys can check it out and uh, we'll give it some final thoughts. And I'm glad that the sun came out guys because this thing, I was really wanting the sun to come out so that the customers can really see the gloss on this baby. Um, it, it looks beautiful. I am very uh, excited with the final outcome of this BMW. Turned out really, really amazing. And obviously it is now protected for years to come. So it really turned out amazing. But overall, vehicle came out really really nicely uh, i am very grateful for the opportunity uh, for the customers as well uh, to uh, let me take you having me giving me the opportunity to take care of their vehicle overall it turned out amazing so uh <laughs> i am very happy this one was definitely a workout but the end result is probably the best payout for me just because i get to see this vehicle just truly shine like it's supposed to so uh, overall uh, i hope this video kind of helped you guys today uh, and i guess before i end this quick video i wanted to talk about the one step paint correction many people ask me um, and this may not pertain to the video because i ended up doing a two-step but to answer that question uh, that to that email i received the reason i only do mostly one step paint corrections is because i want to conserve uh, the clear for the customer uh, my good buddy Landon uh, had definitely mentioned a great uh, scenario. Let's per se that, you know, this, this customer ends up getting a couple scratches, you know, on this car. If I was to do, you know, a very hardcore two-step, uh, then the clear would diminish. And let's just per se that here down the road, they need to repair it. There's really not much room left to uh, really um, correct the paint. Um, but... Uh, I did a very, I did a two-step, but it was a very light two-step. It wasn't like hardcore, like getting into the paint. It was just on top of the surface, putting the uh, rotary on there to blend all the, um, all those scratches a little bit more and finesse it with the, um, with the uh, F6 by Coach Kemi with the foam pad. Um, but I tend to always do mostly one steps just because of that reason to conserve the clear and, you know, uh, just you never know there could be those scenarios where a customer needs to touch up or fix some areas uh and if there's not really a lot of clear you know we we have to be very diligent we have to be very honest with customers just so that way they know that you know you you care about mostly you care about them you care about their vehicle you care about the pain and you don't want to uh, cause any issues down the road where you know they wish they could remove those scratches but because there's not much clear left you can't really do much but anyways that's just my opinion uh, there's you know there are many professionals out there but at the end of the day you're the detailer you're the one that's gonna be out there working out in the on these vehicles you get to learn a little bit about them uh, but the best advice to the new guys is definitely uh, work 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 hard uh, practice practice on different panels you know go to your local uh, body shop sometimes they'll give you panels and stuff and that gives you the opportunity to really work your craft and get better at it um, I know uh, that is was definitely helped me in my business and obviously I thank God that I am where I am today uh, for putting in the time and practice as well obviously many new techniques come out come out and we try to adjust to that so um, overall I'm very blessed I'm very satisfied with the way this car came out but overall I hope you guys have a blessed Monday and we'll see you tomorrow we'll see what we have be safe y'all